It's Yuki Soma. Uh... Seriously, Kyo's the popular one. Huh? A girl actually pulled him aside just now. Huh? Hey, you're right. He's gone. Let's go. I gotta see this. Wait. It's no use. Sorry. I'm afraid Kyo is a lost cause. There's something uncomfortably familiar about the way this Manabe guy acts. He says one thing when he clearly means another and has a complete disregard for everyone around him. Just being near him makes me almost physically ill. <gasps> No, not another one. I'm interested to know what you think of our lineup. Come on, let's hear it. What are your first impressions? Wow! See you around. Had fun chatting with ya. I had something else in mind. Like her getting hitched to one of these jokers, for instance. Huh? What the hell are those faces for? Who knows? I could surprise all of you and be the first of us to tie the knot. <laughs> I pity the poor guy. Okay. Sorry about that. Guess I shouldn't be reading. Calm down already. I get it, okay? Jeez. You might be the biggest crybaby I've ever met. It sounds like so. Poor Toru, don't cry. Hey, Kyo, why are you lurking in the corner? Perhaps you're too young and innocent to understand, but at this shop, we bring men's fantasies to life. Maid, nurse, waitress, secretary, sailor, cat, or bunny. There are too many to name them all. Oh, my. You know what they say about pink soman, right, Kyo? It puts you in the mood. Who says? See, look out, everyone. Kyo's feeling feisty. Disgusting. Shut up. That dream. This is the worst. Oh, good morning, mon petit chouchou. Well, I can't do it myself. Heavens no. Just think of how sticky that would make my poor fingers. Do you even listen to the words that come out of your mouth? Worry not, I am my sweet. If you but ask, my peach is yours for the taking. Thank you, Kure. But I don't need it. Your love is more than enough to satisfy my heart. Leave now. Yuki, my most beloved brother, is tearfully begging for a glimpse of the shrine that houses my marvelous creations. Um, there was no crying involved. Today is the best of all days. Will you None please can compare. Sit down? I must share the news at once. You never believe it, Tori. Yuki, my beloved brother. That's oh. enough. I'll get the pleasure of watching things play out between you crazy kids. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I can't wait. You three have gotten so close. I can almost taste the drama. Seriously, you've lost me. You should be ashamed! I've seen rocks that are less dense than this! However, your presence won't be required! Sorry! I don't know what you're talking about. A boutique that sells nurse uniforms and maid outfits? I've never been any place like it. Have you? <gasps> Yuki! <laughs> but men everywhere yearn to see their dreams made manifest! Letting your fantasies run wild every so often. There's no sin in that. It's like the compulsion to peep into the women's bath. A natural drive. No, that's a crime. Kill you, big dummy! Sweet freedom! It's finally here! Summer break, baby! This vacation is all about making money and playing hard. Studying can go screw itself. You seem excited about the break. I could tear a car apart with my bare hands right now. Ah! Good job! Well, and today, she'll tell her son in her own words why she left. Ah! Ah! Haru was just making up a stupid story. You see, when He's he gonna was laugh only in your ten years old, his mom left him, even though she really didn't want to. But then... Tragic. Yet touching, uh, I don't know the last time I was so moved. Ginger pork. Yay. Leave already. Then we wouldn't be friends. Not... friends? <gasps> Where did that lame threat come from? I'm not some snotty little kid on a playground. I sound like an idiot. He's going to make fun of me for sure. Something like that? Right, right because he's so perfect. More like boring and robotic. The guy's just lame. <laughs> A fancy getaway, huh? 
With attendance, perhaps? I don't want to know what he's picturing. Ah, oh, I invited Haru, Hari, Aya, Richan, Kisa, Hiro, and Kakuro too, so the more the merrier. Could we uninvite someone? Specifically my brother? I don't want to spend my vacation with that idiotic girl. And this stupid rabbit emoji. You would never know that he's in high school. Hiro-chan, let's go, okay? All right. Want to say hi? <gasps> ah, it's you! <laughs> During the summer, they're very common around this area. Very. Um, wait, what? You're scaring me. Who's common? <laughs> Hello, everyone! <laughs> I definitely don't have enough energy to talk to you. Okay, Rabbit? I get it. Hey! Ah! <laughs> Strange. I was so sure Sensei would come. What made you so sure? Honda. She's out here in a tight swimsuit that's basically like catnip to him. Don't talk, talk about, about her like that. that! Don't you want to come swim too? Ha! Unlike some other people, I have self-control, silly child. Grouchy. I confess, I'm not the world's best swimmer. <laughs> so you just like the sun? It's more that I like all the swimsuits. <laughs> Prove your prowess as a big brother, Hiro. Kagura, <laughs> it's only been a month since the last time you wrecked the door. Wait, that's not what I meant. What? You can't go around saying you won't be friends with people. That's totally crossing the line. Think about all we'd be missing. We haven't even had the chance to discuss our taste in erotica. You're kidding! Kagura. You jerk! Where were you? Huh. I forgot I'm keeping it a secret that I went to see Master. Oh, you know, I was just in town, like right there in the middle. Kori. No, I'm innocent, I swear! Hmm? Just looking at you in that suit makes me sweat. I'm sorry. Uh, it's Union. Hey, oh, Union! Did you wake up on time today? Hey! Union, you're not ignoring me, are you? Fantasy. Huh? The feeling that's stirring in your soul at this very moment! It's your first brush with fantasy! Well, I'm sorry, but it's not going to be in until tomorrow. Oh, that's weird. He specifically said today. He probably thought it would be hilarious if we ran into each other! <laughs> you can see it. Plain as day. The aura of a woman is desperately in love. Right in the face. I won't yeah. even bother to say hi. Now that to you mention it, I'm she does seem pretty upset. I'll hit him so hard Indeed. it'll scramble his brain. It's hard to mean to me. If you know who she is, speak up now. She's in class two A. They say she's a temptress who seduces men with their looks. You Yeah. Sorry. That's it. Just who do you think you are, showing up out of nowhere like this and then daring to refer to him as you? No, I can't. As for the parent-teacher conference, I shall be playing the role of guardian. Oh, did you see? Who's the hot guy in the fancy suit? Think Miss Mayu-chan's gonna make a move? <laughs> yes, that's what I was after. Pure loathing. Yeah, it is. You have no idea how much. There, all finished. Now try it on, I wanna see how it looks. What did you do to my shirt? <laughs> It's a representation of the solemn oath that I swore to Yuki never to leave his side. How about you swear an oath never to touch my clothing again? Your brother did this as an expression of his love. No, that will do. You may take marriage proposals very seriously. No, you can just go out there like that. At this rate, you'll never find anybody to marry you. What's this? I'm telling you. You're the type of person you've never seen a perfect proposal. You should be careful. You'll waste all your best years. And you even had the nerve to show up in Hattori's suit. I'm amazed you realized it's his. Such is the power of undying love. I hate him so much. After all, if you and the good doctor get married someday, we'll be family. Oh. Well, good thing we never got down and dirty. This is what you stayed behind to tell me? Yep, sure is. Let's never speak of it again! Master's here! Oh, he's Kyo's dad. Seriously? That guy? I figured Carrot's dad would be a redhead like he is. Oh, well... He doesn't look like Kyo at all, but he is kind of... Incredibly handsome. What? <laughs> 
Greetings, lovelies. I've arrived. <laughs> Being rather distracting, mother, please calm down. But he isn't useless or dumb. Stop! Don't even think about calling Hadri. I wouldn't do that. I'm sending a text message. I haven't given it much thought. Oh, Chan, you should totally become a model. Just think of how cool it would be. Yeah, think so. Right, I'll become a model. What? A model? Feel free to think it over a little more. We'll do whatever we want. Take a relaxing stroll around the gardens, eat delicious food from every restaurant, and maybe witness a murder. <laughs> Sounds like more trouble than it's worth to me. Maybe I'll just ditch. You idiot! Ow! Class trips are essential. They're the essence of romance. The highlight of one's school career. Young people lose their inhibitions. Feel free to confess their love. And who knows where that might lead. <laughs> hey, don't you walk away from me. Woo! What's going on over here? Talking about dirty Union stuff? says we won't be friends anymore unless I show him all my naughty vids. I definitely did not say that. I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Jeez, you don't have to look so surprised about it. Not only do I have one, but she's super cute. I love her. Wait, does this mean we're not friends anymore? Shut up, we dropped it, remember? I gotta say, a girl who constantly flirts with guys who have girlfriends doesn't sound trustworthy either. And now, allow me to feed you this tasty treat as a token of my appreciation. Hey, put the spoon down, You wanna give me a bloody nose? What's your problem? I'm trying to cheer you up. Give me your phone. Get a shot of your nose gushing blood. Not gonna happen. It's in my bag. Huh? What's the point of having a cell phone if you're not gonna keep it? Ah! Ah, it's Cinderella, huh? No way. Our Kyo is playing the prince? Oh, yes. <laughs> you just gained an audience member. I'll have to record it for posterity, of course. Toru. Yes! Will you dance with me, your highness? No. Your Highness, I'll be your partner. No, choose Go me. away. Find someone else to dance with. Your Highness, may I dance uh, with you? I've already said no! Oh, sorry. I'll go then. Uh, wait! And so, he turned down Cinderella's stepsister as well. He turned her down. That slipper is indeed the one I left with you. I'd like it back. This Cinderella's got serious attitude. You're still such a child, aren't you? Yeah, well, that sounds better than being a clueless old geezer. <laughs> Hold on. Who told you about the play in the first place? Yeah, I wonder. I guess that answers that. Princess. Oh, sorry, I won't say it again, I swear. Oh, <laughs> princess. I don't wanna. Leave me alone. Pathetic. It's really no wonder you're still a virgin. You can't just say crap like that. Don't you have any shame? Maybe you should take a trip to the store and She's buy some. She's not allowed to say that, is she? Hey, remind me, what play are they doing again? It's Cinderella-ish. I don't know what that means. Exactly what he said, it's Cinderella-ish. And I want to know what ish means! Oh, that's the actual title? I thought it might help if I could see how the world looks through your eyes, you know? Idiotic uh air had a Quit shouting! And where'd that come from? I could care less about it! It's big and clunky. Take it back. I don't uh, want it back. <laughs> should I or should I not ask what's happening here? Go on. Really, just ask away. What's happening? What's happening? I'm not sure about leaving him alone with her. Huh? Kyo, you devil. I'll kill you. Embrace me. Oh, yes! That might be the only thing that could make me feel worse than I already do. Stop wailing and follow me. At once! Uh, Don't you die on me! Remember that sunset on the bank to the Seine when we promised that we wouldn't depart this world without the other at our side? Literally none of that happened. 